But if I was to eat that mushroom, what happened to me? That is correct. Someone has found Mike from Street Speed 717's headlamp. I'm moreless today. Can you believe that? Look at this view. Can you get a better view? She left me out here to fend all by myself. And I'm going to hide the next treasure for you guys that come find. I'm going to make it a little bit harder this time. You guys are finding these treasures a little too fast. And right down there is a white blaze. If you hit that white blaze, you've gone too far. But that's okay. That's all right. Don't make it too easy. I'm going to challenge you guys a little bit. Welcome back to the channel if you're new. My name is Chris and we're glad you came along for the adventure today. Today is Palm Sunday. And I figured what better way to spend Palm Sunday than getting out in nature and going for an awesome hike. We are at one of my more favorite locations, I believe. It's a beautiful section of the Appalachian Trail, most popularly known or commonly known for, I guess for the Kimmel Overlook, which is a really awesome overlook. But this section of the Appalachian Trail really has these beautiful views all over it. So we are going to go on a hike today, spend some time out here on the Appalachian Trail. We're going to hide a treasure for you guys because why not? You know, it's spring. Spring has officially just started as of Tuesday this week. Um, and it's time to get out and start adventuring if you can. If you can't, as always, we're certainly glad you come along with us for the adventures. But I think we are going to hide a treasure. Speaking of treasure, we have a treasure that's been found. We're going to get to that in a little bit. Right now, let's keep hiking. I'm going to show you guys some of these awesome views here along the Appalachian Trail. One thing I will mention is this trail, like some other pretty popular trails with some popular scenic overviews, um, does get a little crowded. You know, it's it's worth it though. It's worth it. I would say if you've watched our Hawk Rock video where we hit Street Speed 717's headlamp, um, it is not as busy as there, but it is pretty busy. Um, there was one that I had already passed, but there was some, there's a pretty decent amount of people there. So hopefully, I can hit that one up on the way back and show you guys the views from there, but we're going to keep going. This is not very far off of 501, like right here where we are. The first overlook, if you want to go to it, um, you can park right at a parking spot at 501, which um, there's also the 501 Appalachian Trail Shelter that's up there. It's a really, really nice trail shelter. I'm not going to go to that today, but I'll put some pictures up here for you guys to take a look at. Um, but the first overlook, Kimmel's overlook rather, is, uh, you know, really kind of right off the road. Very easy to get to. Terrain's pretty, pretty simple. You know, a little bit of rocks. Goes down just a smidge. Definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it if you like overlooks. If you like beautiful scenic views. But... To be honest, I mean, here we are. We're still hiking on it. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's beautiful. That's one nice thing about getting out here in the early spring. Leaves aren't on the trees yet. It's nice and warm. Uh, it could be a little warmer today. I think it's like around 45 Fahrenheit. Not sure what that is Celsius, but I'll put it up here. 
Um, but just a really nice day to get out, see this beautiful view all the way along. Looks like I found a nice little overlook here. I'm gonna take a stroll out too. Man, this is beautiful. Really, really nice. Could you just imagine bringing a hammock up here, setting a hammock up, waking up to this view? Man, it's beautiful. Wouldn't want to fall off it though. That's uh, it's pretty far down. So the wonderful thing about GoPros is, is you really can't tell your sense of uh, steepness on it. But you have my word. That's a pretty big drop off that I don't feel like falling off of today. Truth be told, one of the main reasons why I'm out here today is I'd like to seek out a camping spot that is supposedly rumored to be down here. Now it's pretty darn sweet. I'm not 100% sure where it's at. But we are considering doing some day hikes, some overnight hikes. And this looks like it could be a, be a pretty cool spot to stay overnight. Another possibility is, if you saw our other hiking video, where we hiked to the Hurtlian camp on the Appalachian Trail, it's another possibility where we want to stay out and camp. A little bit of a longer hike through there. I think it's about roughly three and a half miles out from the parking area. Now you definitely, definitely want to take your time if you're out here on these rocks, especially if you're by yourself. As you can see, I'm moreless today. Can you believe that? She left me out here to fend all by myself. But that's okay. That's all right. Now I will mention, I've already told you it's pretty chilly out today, but when it gets warmer, which is coming here pretty soon, I would be a little careful on these rocks. Snakes like to come out and sunbathe on those puppies and get warm. You don't want to be getting bit by any snakes. We've made it to a pretty popular spot right here called the Rock Pile. It's a pretty cool area. If you're familiar with Camp Swatera, you can kind of come up the backside of Camp Swatera and you can access it that way also. But if you keep going past the overlook, this is another pretty popular place that people like to come on this trail to see. 
It's just a huge, huge field filled with rocks. It's like on a big hill. Now, if you're new to hiking, a lot of people ask, how do you know what trail you're on or how do you know which way to go if you start to lose the trail? All trails are marked with blazes. Different trails have different colored blazes. Appalachian Trail's blazes are white. So as long as you keep following those little white markers on the trees, you're on the trail. And you're in good shape. Another good app to download is an app called All Trails, and that is uh, pretty informative. It's free, you don't have to pay for it. But you can get a paid subscription and then you can download the map so you know where to go if you're going to be offline or not around Wi-Fi. That's an interesting tree. He's just twisted and not in good shape. I think I found a campsite though. It's pretty cool. don't 100% know if this is the campsite. It is kind of resembling what I've seen online. Um, if it's not, you can definitely make it a campsite. It's flat enough. But I did see an area where you could kind of walk up and it had like rocks that led to the campsite and uh, like a fire pit. I don't see that. Just a really flat area here. It's a really, really flat area there that you can tell people have used. And you have another really, really nice overlook here. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. I just lay right there and go to sleep. I think I might have found it. I think it's right back here. It's kind of off the beaten path a little bit from the Appalachian Trail. At least one of the campsites. Definitely one. There's supposed to be a couple back here. Well, here's one. Pretty cool. Oh, you see we have followers up there. It appears I am not the only one here. But it looks like this is one of the campsites here. I think there's another couple around. I'm just gonna kind of poke around here a little bit and see if I can't find another one. you've been out here before and you've hiked the the section of the trail that connects 645 to 501 and you've seen these campgrounds before leave a comment down below be interested in knowing where the rest of the campsites are I've looked around here for a little bit and I can't seem to find the other ones and the other one that I saw looked like it would be like more easily identifiable um, it had like a nice little rock path that led down into where the fire pit was and where you would set up your tent but I don't see that one I only see the one that I showed you. It's like a pretty neat little area up here. I want to go explore that. Alright, 
Well, I found a pretty cool little area. It's kind of secluded. I think I'm going to sit here, eat my snack, and just enjoy some of the scenery. Pretty nice little chill spot right here. A nice little rock wall around us. And you have the overlook. Now, I told you guys that we had one of our treasures found, and that is correct. Someone has found Street Speed 717's headlamp. That's right. If you're out looking for Street Speed 717's headlamp, you're a little too late. The important thing to note is, though, Street Speed was not the one who found it first. It was actually Margaret from Duncannon, and I believe Margaret may have had just a wee little bit of help from her little buddy here to find Street Speed 717's headlamp. I'm gonna go ahead and put some pictures up here for you so you can check them out. I think it's super awesome. Uh, you know, make sure you check Margaret out. It looks like she has an awesome bakery called Duncannon Daily Bread. Uh, I have personally not tried it out yet, but that is certainly on my list the next time I'm around the area to go and, and check out some of her awesome treats. Uh, but I'll put a link up here or uh, down in the description to her Instagram page. Uh, you know, make sure you head over there and check out her awesome treats. Uh, and if you're around the area, try them out. If you've already tried them out, leave a comment down below. Let me know which one your favorite one is, uh, you know. But I think right now I'm, I'm getting hungry talking about treats. I don't have any bread with me. I, I, just, I just have a delicious um, banana to eat for a snack. Uh, which is a little different than what you guys are used to seeing on here, whether it be cheese steaks or, or some delicious food and, and guavate, but uh, a banana. A banana is what I'm going to go with. So I'm just going to sit here, enjoy this beautiful scenery back here, in this nice little secluded spot that I found here. I'm going to eat my snack, and then I'm going to continue on my trail back to this really nice little spot that I have in mind here. Uh, and I'm gonna hide the next treasure for you guys that come find. I'm gonna make it a little bit harder this time. You guys are finding these treasures a little too fast. So I'm gonna make this one a little bit more challenging for you to find, but don't let that deter you. Make sure you get yourself out here and check it out. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna sit here, eat a snack, and uh, head back on our way. All right, well, that was a nice little break. I think we are going to head our way back up here. And see about going to hide a treasure. It was a really neat little spot that I found there. I think it's actually like my new favorite kill spot along the Appalachian Trail for the fact that it's on the path yet off the path enough that you don't have to worry about people bugging you I think we're coming up to our treasure hiding spot now this is something you want to make a little bit of a mental note of if you're walking back towards the Kimmel Overlook from the Fisher Overlook, you're going to see this down tree. You're going to see this kind of like outcrop here. Beautiful, beautiful view. And right down there is a white blaze for the Appalachian Trail. If you hit that white blaze, you've gone too far. If you're walking up this way, and you go past that white blaze, you went too far. But if you hang a right or a left, depending on which way you're going, just walk out here. Get this beautiful overlook out here. 
that there's really no one around. And we like to put these treasures where the least amount of people go because that gives you guys a little bit better of an opportunity to find it. Especially if you're a viewer. I don't want to just leave this treasure out here that anybody can walk up and get it. Let me make sure I'm rewarding you guys for it. So, I don't want to go too, too crazy here. I don't want anybody to get hurt. But I think right here probably gonna be the best place for it so for our treasures today we have a the solo gear sticker we have an adventures are for the cows channel sticker with the scannable qr code on the back and not a hundred percent sure where i got this i don't remember if someone sent it to me but a northeast outdoors headlamp and here's the plus it has batteries already in there for you so if you come across this you can use it right away now in the little treasure baggie is also a note congratulating you on your find with instructions with what to do if you want take some pictures of you finding the treasure or a short video and you can send that to adventures are for the cows at gmail.com put a little link here and said all of that information is on the note as well as down in the description here just get some air out of this i think i found just a little bit of a better spot that we're going to put this but as you can see Right there is pretty visible. So I gotta build some stuff up around this here real quick. All right, there you go. I don't know if you could see me. Kind of burying that. We don't want to make it too obvious. And we don't want to make it too hard either. You see a little bit of it there. And a little bit of it right there. So just remember, all you have to do, right here is the Appalachian Trail. Come right down this little path. See this beautiful overlook here. Right there is your treasure. That's it. That's all you got to do. Come find it. Don't forget to send me a picture or a short video so that way we can feature you in an upcoming video. One thing I think that would be nice to mention if you're on the hunt for the treasure is if you've hit this spot. Coming from the Fisher Overlook, you've gone too far. Just go right down there, down the hill, to the right, maybe about 100 yards, and it's right off to the left. Now you know exactly how to get to the treasure. What kind of mushrooms are those? Let me know down in the comments. I don't know my mushrooms. But if I was to eat that mushroom, what would happen to me? I'm curious. Looks like we still have a lot of people to come and overlook. It's a very popular place. Nice place. But popular.
Look at this view. Can you get a better view? All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for this week's adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. It is certainly a huge help with us just starting off. So um, get out here. Come out and adventure. Get out and go for a hike. It's an awesome time of the year to do it. And if you come on this hike, you just may end up finding yourself a hidden treasure along the way. But... Like I said, it's going to wrap it up for this week's adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay safe. And we'll see you on the next one.